Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is a full review and this one I've been testing out HUM by Aaron Terence Hughes. We did a first impression probably around a month ago now. Um, so I want to get on with a few full reviews. This one again is called HUM. So when you first spray this on skin, by the way how I test fragrances usually is I spray it around my neck and then I spray it either on my wrist or usually on the back of my hand more often than not. But around my neck and on my hand um, that way I can kind of judge what it does around here and also like that. So that just typically that's how I uh, test a fragrance. So what I get from HUM when you first apply it, the initial thing that struck me was the sweetness. Tonka and vanilla are listed as the sweet notes in this fragrance. And you do get that, a vanilla-y, tonka-y like, slightly creamy sweetness enveloping everything right at the beginning. The orris note comes a few seconds later, the initial blast is sweet, and then you start to pick out the orris. The The initial 10 minutes or so are my, probably my favorite part where the orris note is, is more prominent, more noticeable. The orris in this, in the opening, in my head, goes just a little bit cosmetic in the sense of like, I'm imagining almost like a chunk of lipstick. It's got kind of a slight lipstick vibe. Not overly powdery, more waxy and oily, I would say, in the description of it. But that oiliness, that lipstickiness, seems to be more like a, a top note and it kind of mellows out into just generally iron-ish kind of like as, as it kind of goes into the mid. Didn't find too much progression or change, I would describe it generally as being a little bit linear, as in how I smell it in the first hour is how I smell it at the end of the fragrance. There's no massive like swings or turns or changes. It's very familiar throughout the whole duration of the scent. As it starts to dry down, it gets a little bit more woody. Sandalwood and cedar are listed. I get probably a little bit more of the sandalwood vibe from this as it dries down just a little bit more woody. The Oris is, I would say, maybe just a little bit overtaken by the sweet elements. It's it's too sweet for my personal taste, and the sweetness is kind of an envelope over the whole thing. It's quite, it's, it's like a blanket of the Tonka vanilla with the Oris kind of hiding a little bit behind it that you can smell easier in the opening and then it kind of just dissolves into the sweetness of the fragrance as it dries down and it gets just a little bit more woody with the sandalwood kind of vibes as, as it starts to dry down. There's also a kind of a light musky, very clean musky kind of quality to it. Despite this one being called HOM, I would say it's completely unisex. Women would have no trouble wearing this at all. It's a colder weather fragrance in my opinion, autumn and winter probably more suited for an evening. If I had to kind of give you a ballpark of, of expectation, the closest thing I can think of is something like O oh Unknown by Imaginary Authors. That one uses a synthetic RS called Orivone, and that one is mixed with kind of a tea note, and that one also has a little bit of a sweetness. But that one is, the Orivone thing is a little bit like, um, plasticky rubber doll head kind of smell <laughs> um, where this one doesn't have that. In terms of performance for this one I found it a little bit difficult to judge it was a bit weird and I'll explain why. When I applied it around my neck and back of my hand through the first few hours I didn't actually notice it around myself from my neck I had to kind of smell it from my hand like that to kind of to get it it felt pretty like sitting close to the skin on me. That might be just total skin chemistry. You might have a huge sillage with this one. For me, uh, I had to kind of do that. Um, it, it did f feel very close. However, and I'll, we'll talk about the longevity as well. Uh, longevity was around the seven to eight hour mark before becoming a skin scent. I tend to use the word uh, usable longevity. In this case, that would be seven to eight hours. There is you. There is a remnant of this 
uh, over 24 hours later after having a hot bath. So I had a hot bath and washed myself and went to bed. When I woke up in the morning, I did, from my neck, smell a cocoon. The first thing I noticed when I opened my eyes was, oh, I can smell it. It's this sweet, it was the sweet notes, the Tonka vanilla thing. A woody Tonka vanilla musky uh, accord. Just a little bubble of it around my head when I opened my eyes and I came, kind of came to in the morning, it was there. And, and I could smell it pretty strong on my t-shirt from the day before and also on the back of my hand. And so, yeah, like, as a skin sense, like, it sticks like glue and it doesn't go away for, like, 24 hours, even if you have a wash. So, like, nuclear strong in that regard. <laughs> but as, as a general wear, uh, probably seven to eight hours before it really kind of becomes light and tones down into that skin scent, but then progresses for, a, for forever as the skin scent. Altogether, I think you'd need to enjoy sweeter, tonka, vanilla-like fragrances to, to like this one, because that is more focused, and like I say, the Oris Accord seems to be just a little bit behind that. And what you're left with primarily for you know, from eight hours till 24 hours is the sweet combinations of tonka and musk and woods and um, there may be some kind of amber type things in here as well. There's some, there's things in there that make it last a really, really, really long time. <laughs> but if you like Oris and you like a more sweetened Oris and you like tonka and vanilla and a more cozy, comfortable, comforting kind of fragrance, I would describe this as a cocoon of comfortability. So you might want to check it out. I do draw parallels to something like O Unknown by Imaginary Authors. If you own O Unknown, you, you get certainly similar vibes from, from this one. That one goes in a bit of a different direction with the T note. O Unknown is definitely more focused on a stronger Oris, but it is a synthetic Oris and it's quite prominent, oily, waxy kind of smelling. This one smells more natural. It's almost easier to smell the Oris Snow on a paper test strip than it is on the skin. On my skin, the sweetness seems to amplify itself a little bit more and I kind of lose the Oris note on my skin and I seem to get the sweetness coming through more. That's it, if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts. Uh, do you enjoy wearing it and what do you think? And I will see you soon in the next video. Take care everyone. Stay safe and goodbye.